Hello everybody, it's Cindy and welcome to Cindy Lou Loves Glam 2. And no, you have not stepped into a Dr. Seuss book. I just really like to rhyme things. Thank you so much for stopping on by. If you're new here, uh, would you take a moment and consider subscribing? And also if you really like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. So um, as you see from the title today, um, we have our December BoxyCharm box here. I got this a few days ago. I have already opened this, so no big surprises yet, but I will uh, give you a quick uh, rundown of, you know, how I feel about the box in general. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And of course, we have also learned this month, or at least, I don't know if it's this month or next month. I think it might be starting next month. The price uh, is going to go up to, I think, $27.99 a month. We're not surprised by this. I knew when there was an Ipsy price increase, we were about to see a BoxyCharm uh, price increase and of course they had already done it for the premium box. I knew a base box price increase was going to come So I'm not surprised by it, but I am pondering the value of my boxy charm to be honest I mean, we've already seen me ponder the value of it in the past, but um, So the theme of the month today the today this month is the gift of glam I have variation number nine because I have C two one one two zero zero nine and that usually the last three digits are usually the variation number i'm gonna be honest i don't remember what my choice product was out of here i looked at all this stuff and i'm like i don't remember choosing anything which tells you just how great the choices were i think this might have been my choice product but i'm not entirely certain so uh this is the real her dream so big palette looks like it retails for $28. Um, it is a very bland neutral palette, which I guess is, you know, good for the holiday season. I I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect it to be quite this light. There's not a whole lot of deep shades in here. There's this deep shimmer right here, but not a whole lot of other deep shades. So I think this is meant to be super, super natural. I don't know, you know, if anybody would ever really wear this to a party because um, it doesn't seem like there's any like good smoldery colors to you know really get that nice um, smoky eye look that you would usually wear to a party. Yes, yeah, this is designed highly pigmented. Hello, highly pigmented. What? Y'all saw how light and ashy those were. I'm not going to swatch this in case I put it in a giveaway. Uh, these nine highly pigmented, buttery, and blendable shades are infused with avocado oil, coconut oil, and other vegan powerhouse ingredients for hydration and anti-aging properties. I don't know if that's really going to do that much for my eyelids. So the next product we have here is the Studio Makeup Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum. It says it's a highly concentrated hyaluronic acid rejuvenating serum works to quickly reverse the effects of dehydration and loss of loss of elasticity while keeping the skin highly moisturized throughout the day leaving skin looking radiant and youthful uh, this is the second hyaluronic acid um, serum i've gotten this month so apparently that must have been the big thing that nobody wanted this is what it looks like very clear very basic. I always use uh, a nice moisturizer with my serums anyway, so this will probably work out for me. Um, Studio Makeup Hyaluronic Acid Rejuviating, Rejuviating? Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum retails for $45. The next I have here is the Tint Beauty Tinted Hydrating Tinted Eye Cream. Um, it says it's an undercover sheer color correcting eye cream that doubles as both an eye cream and a concealer. So that, that'll be interesting to try. Um, it does say it has a buildable sheer formulation. And it evens out tone while hydrating the skin with ingredients such as hyaluronic acid, squalene, and apple extract. That's a cute little container. It looks like it has one of those uh, things where you're supposed to apply it directly to your eye. I usually do not do that because I don't like to get the bacteria into the bacteria on my face into uh, potentially the applicator where it can get into the product. So I will probably put this on my fingers rather than apply it directly to my eyes. But um, I'm interested to try it. There we go. There we go. 
There it is. So the Tint Beauty Tinted Hydrating Tinted Eye Cream retails for $24. The next product I have in here is kind of a repeat, which I'm a little bit miffed about. It's not the same shade. I have checked it, but it is the uh, Tarte Man Eater Plumping Gloss. I don't like plumping glosses. I don't like the way they feel, um, and I usually don't need them. I mean, I these i think these are quite nice on their own they're all natural never had uh, injections into them or anything I, I suspect as i get a little bit older they'll start to shrink down but right now they're looking pretty good i don't wear uh, lip glosses a lot and if i do i do tend to use tinted ones or ones with some sort of color to them so i guess this is nice because it does have a little bit of color to it it is in the shade mauve um, the other one I got, I can't remember what the shade was, but it is slightly lighter than this, although it is hard to really tell a difference. So I don't know if I'm going to reach out to BoxyCharm and say, what's up, what gives? You gave me not exactly the same product, but it's basically the same product. Um, I, I might do that and I might throw this one in a, again, in a giveaway. Um, but you know it's it's probably not for me so the tarp man eater plumping gloss retails for 19 dollars and then the final product in the box is uh the mellow cosmetics gel lip pencil it says it glides on fluidly and adheres instantly with a matte finish so i guess it's nice because they they put a lip crayon in that kind of matches the lip gloss so i do get that they were actually thinking things through here but let me get out the pencil here because i think i i actually will keep this it's very nice okay so there's the shade on the end and then that is very smooth and creamy okay so it blends but it doesn't completely blend away so that's good because that does look like it would nice it would pair very nicely with the Tarte Man Eater um, gloss that they gave so I mean I see that they're actually trying to think of a, of a full look um, in here the Mellow Cosmetics gel lip pencil retails for $15 so the total value of my BoxyCharm box for the month of December 2021 adds up to $131. Of course, we paid $25 for the box, which let's be real, it's usually $27 by the time they tack on taxes approximately. Um, and then, of course, next month is going to go up to basically $28, but probably $30 by the time um, you count in all the taxes. So, um, but this month it's $131. We paid about $25, $26 uh, for the box. And um, so I guess in theory, there's a lot of value there. Um, I'm going to be honest, like when I opened this, I was a little bit bummed out. But now that I've got the products here again, and I'm kind of thinking through things, I don't I don't think this was necessarily a bad box. Um, I'm just, I think it's really interesting how getting a repeat product that you didn't like in the first place uh, can really throw off your mood for the entire box. Does anybody ever feel that way if you get any of these sub boxes? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I am interested to try this. I am interested to try this. I was kind of looking forward to the fact that we got an eyeshadow palette, but now that I'm looking at the colors in this, um, it's not a very interesting one. Um, I think it's possible to make a neutral color story interesting. It's just that this is not doing it. There is way too many um, very light shades in here without a whole lot of depth uh, that you can add to the, to the palette. So um, I'm not as interested in this, um, even though it's nice to get. Uh, some actual makeup in the box <laughs> for once but um, I am interested to try the tint and the mellow lip liner and believe it or not like hyaluronic acid serum like you I, I love using a serum and then using a moisturizer afterwards so like when they give me serums I actually really uh, prefer that or like that over some sort of um, oil facial oil I hate facial oils and I've gotten a lot of those lately it seems like um, so it's nice to get you know a, a, a serum 
that I could actually use and also that it does not have all these exfoliating ingredients in it because that can really dry out and tear up my already dry skin. Um, so I guess it is nice to get this. I'm interested in trying it. Um, so I guess we've got a good three out of five. What is it? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Let me know what you think. How would you feel if you had gotten this box? Let me know in the comments down below. So you can feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I've been terrible about posting lately, um, but you know, it is what it is. Still feel free to follow me there. I hope everybody's going, having a nice happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, Hanukkah was a little bit earlier in the month. Um, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a great holiday season and you get a chance to uh, have a break and be off, have some time with your loved ones. I am going to leave a couple links down below of where you can help um, the Kentucky and all the other tornado uh, victims from the most recent uh, tornado outbreak. Very sad to have that happen around the holidays. So I'm going to go ahead and leave some links down there where you can help if you feel so inclined. And with that, have a great day, evening, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.